Okay, Algebra 1, we're going on today. This is going to be 3-1 Part C. Part C, yes, 3-1 Part C. Now this is going to be graphing using tables. And this is just another way that we're going to be able to do some graphing. Um, the last lesson was the first way that we do graphing, and that was using the intercepts. Um, today's way of graphing is going to be um, is going to be using um, tables, and then our next one that we're going to do is going to be graphing using um, the computer, and then we're also going to graph using slope. So we're going to have four different ways that we're going to graph. So today's way is going to be graphing using a table. So first of all, uh, when we had that x-intercept yesterday or the other day, when we had the x-intercept, there are some synonyms for that. Another word for x-intercept is that it's also the root, the solution, or the answer. So all of those are synonyms. They mean the same thing, and that will be good to know because we'll use those interchangeably. So you just need to know that we can use all those words to mean the same thing. Um, okay, so when we're doing that, there's also a couple different ways we can look at equations. I can have an equation. Remember, we've got y and x. There's y equals 2x minus 8, then there's a couple more ways I can write this so that it's equivalent. So another way would be 0 equals 2x minus 8. And a third way, remember when we did functions and we had f of x equals 2x minus 8. So all of those are ways, those are all similar or the same as well. So these are all the same. And these are all the same right here. Okay, now let's get into using a table. It's like an input-output table, and we've done that before. Remember, these are linear, so they're going to make a line when we graph them. We're going to sketch some graphs here. So here's our first equation. We're going to use the one that we just did. Um, y equals 2x minus 8. So I'm going to make a table, and the numbers that we're going to use for y, um, x to put in, that's going to be our input, because that's, I don't know if you remember, that's our independent variable. That's, we talked about that way back in Chapter 1, I believe put anything in I want. So the numbers I'm going to choose are 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and negative 2. And then my the equation part is 2x minus 8. And then I'm going to get some outputs here for y. So we're going to go through that. We're, sorry, we had some dunking out there. That's all right. So when I put in a 2, I'm going to put in 2 for x. So 2 times 2 minus 8. 4 minus 8 is negative 4. 2 times 1. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 8 is negative 6. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 8 is negative 8. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10. And 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12. If you're not sure if I'm right, let's do that. Negative 4 minus 8, leave, change, opposite. Yep. Okay, now that's going to give me some points. 2, negative 4. 1, negative 6. 0, negative 8, negative 1, negative 10, and negative 2, negative 12. I could put any numbers in here I want. These are just easy ones to work with, um, so that's why I choose these. Okay, now I'm going to sketch my graph. Now you'll notice my y's are all negative, so I'm going to sketch my graph like this. And I have to go down to where? Negative 12. Okay, so I've got 2, negative 4. I've got 1, negative 6. Oops, right here. I've got 0, negative 8. I've got negative 1, negative 10. And I've got negative 2, negative 12. And I put arrows on the end because it's a line and it goes forever and it's linear. If you do this, guys, and when you sketch your graph, it does not make a line. You know you made an error somewhere. Okay, let's look at another one. Um, let's do y equals 1 half x plus 3. Okay, now I'm going to have to take half of x. So I could use 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. Or I could use some numbers that are even so I can take half of them easily. So I'm going to this time for my x's, I'm going to use 4, 2, 0, negative 2, and negative 4, because those are going to be easier. Remember, we can use anything we want. Okay, so when I put in 4, I take half of 4, 
which is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. So my first ordered pair is 4, 5. Then I take half of 2, which is 1, 1 plus 3 is 4. So my ordered pair is 2, 4. Next I do 0, half of 0 is 0, 0 plus 3 is 3, so my ordered pair is 0, 3. Then I take half of negative 2, which is negative 1, negative 1 plus 3 is 2, so my ordered pair is negative 2, 2. And then my last one, I take 1 half of negative 4, half of negative 4 is negative 2, negative 2 plus 3 is 1, so my ordered pair is negative 4, 1. Now I'm just going to sketch that graph, and I'm going to, it better be linear, right? Okay, 4, 5 is right here, 2, 4 is right here, 0, 3, wait, wait, that's not up far enough, is it? That was a bad point. Let's try that one again. Um, four, two, four. Right here, zero, three, negative two, two, and negative four, one. All right, and that looks pretty linear. Okay, very good. All right, let's look at one more. And now I'll give you your secret. Oh, secret word is snowplow. All right, let's look at this one. 2y equals x minus 8. Now, we don't have y by itself here, so what we would need to do is we need to divide everything by 2. So that gives me y equals x over 2 is really 1 half x minus 4, okay? So that's what we do with that. Okay, here's our secret problem. I want you to do this one. y equals 3x plus 1. Use 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and negative 2. Make your table and then sketch your graph for me, and that's all I have for you. See ya. Bye.